Saint Augustine lecture on the Gospel of John, Tractatus 3, chapter 1, verse 15 to 18, following. John bears witness of him and Christ, saying, This was he of whom I spoke, he that came after me is made before me. He came after me and he preceded me. What is it? He is made before me, he preceded me. Not was made before I, were, I was made, but was preferred before me, this is, he was made before me. Wherefore was he made before you, when he came after you? Because he was before me. Before you, O John, what great thing to be before you! It is well that you do bear witness to him. Let us, however, hear himself saying, if, Even before Abraham, I am. John chapter 8, verse 58 But Abraham also was born in the midst of the human race. There were many before him, many after him. Listen to the voice of the Father to the Son, before Lucifer I have begotten you. Psalm 110 verse 3 in the Vulgate He who was begotten before Lucifer himself illuminates all. A certain one was named Lucifer who fell, for he was an angel and became a devil. And concerning him the scripture said, Lucifer, who did arise in the morning, fell. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 27 And why was he Lucifer? Because being enlightened, he gave forth light. But for what reason did he become dark? Because he abode not in the truth. John chapter 8 verse 44 Therefore he was before Lucifer, before every one that is enlightened, since before every one that is enlightened, of necessity he must be by whom all are enlightened who can be enlightened. Therefore this follows, and of his fullness have all we received. What have you received? And grace for grace. For so ran the words of the Gospel, as we find by a comparison of the Greek copies. He does not say, and of his fullness have all we received grace for grace, but thus he says, and of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. That is, have we received so that he would wish us to understand that we have received from his fullness something unexpressed, and something besides grace for grace. For we received of his fullness grace in the first instance, and again we received grace, grace for grace. What grace did we in the first instance receive? Faith. Walking in faith, we walk in grace. In grace. How have we merited this? By what previous merits of ours? Let not each one flatter himself, but let him return into his own conscience, seek out the secret places of his own thoughts, recall the series of his deeds, let him not consider what he is, if now he is something, but what he was that he might be something, he will find that he was not worthy of anything save punishment. If then you were worthy of punishment, and he came not to punish sins but to forgive sins, grace was given to you, and not reward rendered. Wherefore is it called grace? Because it is bestowed gratuitously. For you did not but by previous merits purchase that which you did receive. This first grace then the sinner received, that his sins were forgiven, what did he deserve? Let him interrogate justice, he finds punishment. 
Let him interrogate mercy, he finds grace. But God promised this also through the prophets. Therefore, when he came to give what he had promised, he not only gave grace, but also truth. How was truth exhibited? Because that was done which had been promised.